This week, we give you an end of season update on the Oregon pink shrimp fishery, comparing it to last year's harvest and what the 2020 buying market has in store. Oregon's 2020 pink shrimp season ran strong from April 1st through October 31st and could be described as a colossal success, even amidst a global pandemic. The preliminary harvest totals came in at about 42.9 million pounds, exceeding predictions from earlier in the year of 25 to 29 million pounds, using forecast modeling from environmental and sampling data. This was the highest catch since 2015 and was exceptionally higher than 2019's 26.9 million pounds and 2018's 35 million pounds. WMO reports that La Nina events have developed in the tropical Pacific in August and September 2020, exceeding both oceanic and atmospheric thresholds. These cooler temperatures typically increase the reproduction rates of species like shrimp and squid and could relate to the higher productivity for the 2020 season. As we look forward uh, to the future in the winter, um, currently southeastern Michigan, under the state of Michigan governor's orders, we are um, only at 50% occupancy and that looks like it's going to remain for a while. The Global Producing Centers of Long Range Forecasts indicate a high likelihood, up to 90%, of tropical Pacific sea surface temperatures remaining at La Nina levels until the end of 2020, and a moderate likelihood, 55%, for them to persist through the first quarter of 2021. Count per pound data for 2020 has yet to be completed due to counting issues earlier in the season. However, our sources have implied that the estimated average is sitting at around 125 count per pound. Despite a substantially higher catch, the value of the Oregon fishery this year was only slightly higher than last year at around 22.3 million US dollars, compared to 2019's ex-vessel value of 19.9 million US dollars. In reference to our April update, the food service dependent shrimp industry did experience some major disruptions due to COVID-19. In addition to the pressure on food service, we've been informed that sampling in plants was difficult due to social distancing restrictions. And due to this, Oregon did have to cancel their ROV crews intended to look at shrimp habitats. While the majority of the state's restaurants have reopened, eight major states and many Canadian provinces have begun reversing back into lockdown mode as case numbers continue to rise. Aside from delivery and takeout, the majority of consumers have transitioned into regularly cooking from home. With the impending reversals and continued strain on restaurants and grocery store sales are climbing again. Our recommendation in lieu of this exceptionally productive season and tricky market is to put an emphasis on retail customers as the food service markets remain undetermined due to closures. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This has been Tasha Cadence reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood. <laughs>